Hey, whoa. oof. How the devil are you? Whoa. Okay, um, right, so, around right about, I think approximately seven weeks ago, give or take, I did a video saying, can a bull worker build muscle? And I said it could, and I'd use myself as a guinea pig. I put a link to that video here if you want to watch it. I don't know if you want to, but you can if you want, okay? And uh, so I've been doing the bull worker now for just about, just under seven weeks. Um, and obviously you're keen to know whether I've had any results or not. Um, well, yes, I have. Now, here's the thing. Uh, you know, people do say it's a bit of a gimmick, it can't build muscle. Now, I've enjoyed using the bull worker. And so here are my results so far. I've actually put two and a half centimeters on my arms. What the? Seriously? Uh, so when it asks about an inch um, for you guys in the US, if you're watching. So yeah, I put an inch on my arms. I put an inch on, on my chest circumference. Uh, I've put half an inch on my legs, so it's not as impressive. But for, in seven weeks, that's pretty good. Now, here's the thing, it could be muscle memory. Now, some people argue that's not a thing. I believe it is, um, that if you've worked out in the past and you've built, you know, a decent amount of muscle, uh, if you lose it and train again within a certain number of years, it comes back that little bit quicker. But I'd also say that if you're a newbie, you're gonna get newbie gains, which is kind of this, a similar effect. Um, but I put it, I put it at two and a half centimeters or one inch on my arms in seven weeks. I think it's pretty impressive considering I'm 56 years old. <laughs> you know, it's not bad at all. I'm very happy with it. Uh, definitely feel that I've had some good results. How did I do it? Well, it was uh, pretty standard. I didn't do anything, you know, uh, magical or anything. So the first week I, uh, just did isometric holds. I didn't do anything else. Uh, just isometric holds for one set, 10 seconds. I didn't want to push it. I hadn't trained properly for a long time. Um, so I just wanted to just take it easy and ease myself into it. Then the second week then, I started introducing the reps. So I would do 10 reps, then hold for 10. And then what I, what I did on the third, fourth weeks, I introduced uh, a second set but I did it like a circuit, so I would do chest, back, shoulders, legs, arms, biceps, triceps, all in one. And then I would do, and then I repeat again then for a second time like a circuit. Uh, and I found that worked better for me uh, rather than doing uh, a set and rest, a set and rest and set and rest. Because, you know, it's all about, also about, I, I feel like if you do a circuit, you burn a little bit more kind of you're keeping the momentum going you're not resting in between so you do chest uh you do your chest exercise and immediately go into your back so i found that was better uh the exercises were standard i didn't really do anything untoward um just the standard pushing for the chest so lower middle upper above the head uh for the shoulders um for back, I just did the pull apart like this, and also the uh, push down, uh, just pushing like that on both sides. Um, for the biceps, I tended to mix it up, so I did, I did uh, this one where you push like that. I also did this one where you push like this, and also did the concentration curve where you put it under your foot and this like uh, this way. Triceps. Um, now I found triceps a bit more difficult than biceps because obviously your triceps are a bit stronger. And I found the standard tricep one, which is this, didn't really do much for me. But what I found was, is that pushing down this way really did work the triceps quite well. And I found that put a bit more emphasis on the tricep than some of the other exercises. Uh, legs were a little bit tricky. Again, because the standard exercises they give you in the bull worker manuals, most of them are just lying down, putting your foot in and pushing it back and forth. Now, it's okay for a warm up, but I mean, you'd have to do a lot of reps before you get to anywhere near failure. I, I found it anyway. I found it was just a, it just wasn't enough strength for, for your legs. 
uh, to be able to give a, a decent enough workout you would have to do lots and lots of reps to get anywhere near failure which is a bit pointless really there is a point even though higher reps can build muscle there is a point of diminishing returns and if you're doing 50 reps well I'm not sure that's feasible <laughs> anyway um, so what I did I, I was using uh, reverse lunges and also um, and I found the reverse lunges very good I thought they were um, really good at working the legs and uh, working the quads and especially the hamstrings and the glutes and also I did um, Bulgarian split squats using the ball worker uh, using the ball worker for the resistance and again Bulgarian split squats a great exercise uh, for the legs now I didn't really do a lot for the abs um, I did the standard exercise where you push down where you're using it to push down like that um, but I did, that's all I did I feel that when you when you're actually doing the ball worker holding it here holding it here your abs are working constantly all the time to stabilize and I really didn't do a lot on my abs at all um, diet wise uh, I didn't really diet watch calories or anything like that but what I did do I cut out all junk food um, and I have to do that because uh, I suffer from an autoimmune disease so I got to be careful what I eat um, but all I did was eat pretty much protein and vegetables now I did include potatoes in the vegetables because potatoes are technically a, a root vegetable uh, also um, sweet potatoes another one I used but I, I didn't have any grains at all, no wheat, no rice, no oats, nothing like that. So I just relied on vegetables, fruit, and protein, and that's all I did. Uh, and I, f I feel great, actually. But also, what I also was aware of is make, making sure I get my healthy fats in. So I use coconut oil, uh, olive oil uh, on my salads, um, avocados, things like that. Take a, a omega-3 uh, supplement as well every day. So. All in all, a really decent result. I'm going to continue uh, with the bull work and see if I can put anything else on. Maybe I've plateaued out now. I am 56. I don't know, but I'm going to continue using the bull worker. I'm actually really impressed with the results. So anyone who says it can't build muscle is talking nonsense. Okay, <laughs> it can build muscle if it's used correctly. And oh, one thing I forgot to mention as well. It's as, the, as the weeks went by, I was increasing the rep range, um, increasing the rep range so I got progressive resistance. So now where I was doing 10 reps and holding for 10 seconds, I'm doing up 16 reps at the moment. Uh, and also what I'm trying to do is with this dial here, I'm trying to, I'm conscious of if I get say 50 this week on say a lat pushdown, I'm trying to get to 55 maybe the week after or so trying to push it just a little bit further again progressive resistance you've got to have progressive resistance otherwise you just li will literally plateau anyway have any of you had similar results with a bull worker I'd love to know let me know in the comment section if you like the video give it a like subscribe why not go on okay uh, thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next video